water is heated from 18 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius within one hour. The tin kg fuel with the heat value of 30 megajoules, the kg is used to take the specific heat capacity of water as 4.2 kilojoules per kg degree Celsius. Suppose that no heat is lost, calculate the temperature change. The heat energy given off by the fuel, the amount of water heated, one mark, two marks, two marks. Temperature change is how much? 62. Our temperature change is just T2 minus T1. Our T2, 80 degrees minus 18, we get 62 degrees Celsius. That is how much change took place. The heat value, the, sorry, the heat energy given off by the fuel. When we read in this statement, Water is not our fuel. The fuel is this guy we are burning. How many kgs of the fuel? 13. The heat value of that fuel is 30 megajoules per 1 kg. We burn 13. 1 kg is 30, another kg is 30. 13 of those. So the heat energy is heat value times the mass which will be 30 times 13, and we get how much? Oh, how again? 390 mega joules. That is how much energy was given off. Now, this is what is happening. We have a heating system. This is our coal or our fuel. This is our water. We burn the fuel. It gives out heat energy. When we burn the fuel, it gives us 390. This 390 goes to the fuel. There is no heat that is lost. All of that 390 megajoules goes inside the The water gains heat energy. When the water gains heat energy, its temperature rises from 18 to 8. How much water was this? So we have our heat energy that is given to the water, which is 390. We have our T1 for the water which is 18 degrees Celsius. We have our T2, which is 80 degrees Celsius. Then they ask us, what is the mass of this water? We have the specific heat capacity for water, which is 4.2 kilojoules per kg degrees Celsius. That is what is given. If it is not given in the statement, you check on the information page. In this case, it was given. Our calculations, it will still be the same formula, heat energy, mass and specific capacity, T2 minus T1. We have our 390 as the energy that the water receives, the power 6, is equal to the mass and the specific heat capacity. It is kilo joules. It is kilo joules. That's why we are multiplying by 10 to the power 3. Then we multiply by our T2 minus T1. We are solving for M. 
our mass. We already know t to minus t1, that's 60, 62. So this is 62 times this. Oh, just make life easy. We divide the side. I like dividing. This everything here comes out this time. So also on the other side. This into that will give us our answer in 